aging ladies Susan Davis here Prairie Girl Lifestyle hope you're having a great day this tutorial is going to be an eye tutorial I just got done doing a tutorial on how to shape my eyebrows so go check that out and now I'm going to finish off my face with a look on my eyes and today I thought we would mix it up and try something different I have this eyeshadow palette Stilla it's actually an eyeshadow and blush bronzer kit there it is so nice neutral colors with the two different blushes some of these eyeshadows are shimmery uh, some are matte so I'm going to use the matte ones and I'm actually going to use these colors on my eyes Especially Especially see this what one. we can so let's play around with this and see what we can come up with for an eye look I do have all my makeup done and I will post down below what I have on my face today I used naked skin foundation and you know what I really am liking that foundation naked skins foundation is thinner in its consistency and actually I, I'm liking that I, I usually want a more full coverage but in the summer now uh, the thinner foundation is nice it's nice and light it covers really well and then on top of that I put on a powder to set my face so between those two things I think in the summer it's a good combination and now today in this tutorial we're going to do eyes just a soft look using this Stilla palette this color right here matches my skin tone and it's a matte so I'm going to use that on a fluffy brush and put that all over my lid and upper eye area to form a base in my eyebrow tutorial that I just did I do have a highlighter here this um, benefit highbrow pencil I put that underneath my brows and then blended it down so that's why this is looking highlighted up here okay so that's just uh, a very light cream color all right then I'm going with another fluffy brush just it's a little more tapered so I can control the color and I'm going to go into this darker bronzy blush in this palette. I think it'll be a good crease color. We're going to try it. I'm going to put it in my crease. And then with whatever I have left, I'm going to bring it on up to blend it out. Tap this off because it does have fallout. But you don't have to use this palette. If you have similar colors, just follow along. As I know, cosmetics, they, uh, cosmetics are expensive and they add up. So we're just going for a nice soft look today using warm neutral tones. I'm going to take some more of that and put it here on the corner of my eye. just building that same color up here on our corner and then with my clean blending brush let's just blend that a little bit I'm really liking using that blush for eyes it's a beautiful color now I am going to intensify my crease just a little bit more and I'm going to use the matte brown there's this matte brown in this palette right here and I'm using a smaller flatter brush so I can control this dark brown and I'm starting here and going in take my clean blending brush and very lightly go over this
now I'm going to go under the eye with, I'm going to use this blush color here on this little teeny brush. It's stiff so I can control the color and put it down below my eye. It just adds a little warmth down there. And then with a very small pencil brush, I'm going to go into that dark brown matte color and put that down here. Okay, this palette has a light colored shimmer in it right here. It's got a shimmer in it, so I'm going to take a small flat brush and put that here in, in the middle of my lid just to brighten this up. I'm going to go from here to where that dark is. And then with my clean brush, just wipe off the excess. Because you know that shimmer, it tends to want to uh, fall out. Okay, now for eyeliner, I'd like to stick with the brown instead of black. So I'm going to use the darkest brown in this palette, this dark brown here. It does have a shimmer. I'm going with this small pencil brush, and I'm going to wet it. You know, sometimes when I'm sitting at my cosmetic table and I want to wet a brush like this and I don't have any water available, or I mean I'd have to go up and get water, I have contacts in my eyes, and I always have this sitting next to my cosmetics, so I just use that to wet my brush. You know, this is a sterile solution, so it's a great way to wet your brush if you're going to be putting this up around your eye. So I'm going into that, so I went into that dark brown and I really loaded it on my brush and I'm going to use that to line my eye with a very thin brown line. And what I've been doing lately is taking a beauty sponge and using this to pull my eye because I don't know about you but I'm always getting cosmetics all over my fingers and I go here and, pr and to pull my eye and then I get all this uh, splotches all over and then I have to clean it up. So I'm finding that if I take this sponge and use it to pull my eye and then apply it, that it really cuts down on all the mess I make. I am going to have to look in my mirror down here to do this though. Okay, so I have that on this eye and I just, again, pull that eye and run it right across the top of my eyelash. So now we'll do this eye. Okay, we have this eye done now. Of course, we have a mess here. I'll just take a Q-tip and try to clean that up. So if I have other fallout that I need to clean up, you know, my drill, I take my concealer and put a little of that under my eye. And then with my beauty sponge, I pat that in. Clean up any smudges. Make sure I don't have any makeup going below this line because I want a lifted look to my eye. Same on this side. Okay, so we're done with eyes. This is a very soft, very soft, warm eye. I really like it. And now I'm going to curl my eyelashes, and I'll have to look down here to do that. And then for mascara today, I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex. I'm really liking this. It's very volumizing.
here's one other option on your eyes. If you wanted to add a little more color to this look, you could go with the blush. If you have a pink blush, this is a matte. I could take my fluffy brush, this one, and go into that pink and just put a little of that right here. I don't know if you can see that on this online, but just add a little pink on the edge. Pretty. It's very pretty. And take your take your clean brush and just blend that just a little bit. Okay, now lips. What are we going to do for lips? Okay, for lips today, I'm going to go with the NYX Lip Liner. This is in the color Ever. It's a dusty rose color, I would say. And then I'm going to just fill in the corners here with this. Okay, just really dark. And then I'm going with a, I would say a medium pink. This is an Ulta lipstick. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. It's old. I've had it for a long time. But that's the color I'm putting on my lips. With that dark of a pink, you can't see the uh, contouring I did with my lips. Uh, it would have been better if I used uh, my sheer lip gloss. This is the Buxom lip gloss, and this is White Russian. I really like this product. I'll put some over the top of this. It should, <clears throat> putting this over the top of it should make it lighter. lightened it down some. If you haven't tried these Buxom lip glosses, they're really cool because they make your lips tingle. I think it's their, um, I'm pretty sure it's probably their plumping action. It's supposed to plump up your lips. Okay, ladies, this is the finished look with my eyeshadow tutorial using the Stilla palette. And it is an eyeshadow and blush palette again. This is a very soft brown. Isn't that a gorgeous? I love this eye color. And we use blush to create it. I love it. It's so soft and pretty. And then adding that pink, just a little bit of pink, warms it up too. Um, if you're wondering about my hair, I have a hair piece in. It's almost 100 degrees here today in Iowa, and I have to go out and run some errands. So I put my hair up and use this hair piece, and it works out great. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I will list below everything I have on my face. Hey, go out and make somebody's day. Be positive. Give everybody a positive message that you see today. You know, that's what we're here on Earth for, is to love and build people up, fill up their bucket. You go out and make it a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.